And finally, in our take action section, we have A-B testing. Now, A-B testing is only limited to mobile apps, uh, which uh, really limits how you can use it, really. And A-B testing is interesting. It's something that reflects Mixpanel's mobile focus from the early days. Um, and they never really built out their the web A/B testing solution, uh, but if you if you have a mobile app, uh, you can you know it can be it can be handy to deploy an A/B tester here, right? And you have to you know go through a bit of a setup, uh, but you can build it out in a very similar to what you might expect with them like Optimizely uh, or something else, right? Uh, so once again, you know be able to build out the A/B test alongside your data, uh, it's. It's, it's quite helpful, right? It's something that you can then take all your initial data and see how it compares to an A-B test, use that as analysis, uh, you know, as a, in funnels and insights and, and a few other things. Uh, but the biggest factor is it just simply is limited uh, to mobile apps. Other tools like Optimizely or WBO, uh, Visual Website Optimizer, more commonly a web, uh, a lot of those tools actually have mixed panel integrations. We have an integrations video where I quickly talk uh, about some of them. But a lot of them can actually do data into Mixpanel, and you can track your variations inside your Mixpanel data, um, which can be quite helpful, especially if you're testing parts of funnels or certain pages or certain things that affect other actions. Uh, so that's a way to get web A-B testing data into Mixpanel, while you know mobile A-B testing data can be handled here by, by this built-in feature that Mixpanel offers.